bumps. The secret? Well, it's really a combination of many advanced ride features all working together. Now, for example, Ford has increased the vertical travel of the front wheels, so the wheels can absorb bigger bumps while transmitting less roll. And it's available on all 28 Ford models with either of Ford's engines. Test drive the 54 Ford with Fordomatic. That's the fifth Ford I've sold today. We're doing a land office business. Let me show you why. Look at this beautiful 54 Ford. There's the styling that has set the trend in the whole industry. And Ford styling is a mighty good protection for your investment. This car will look just as good to a used car buyer next year as it does to you. Ford was born July 30th, 1863, on a farm in Spring Wells Township, Michigan. His father, William Ford, was born in County Cork, Ireland. His mother, Mary Ford, was born in Michigan. Henry was devastated when his mom died in 1876. His father expected him to take over the farm, but he hated farm work. In 1879, he left home to work as an apprentice machinist in Detroit, first with James F. Flower and later with the Detroit Dry Duck Company. In 1882, he returned to Dearborn to work on the family farm. While on the farm, he worked the Westinghouse portable steam engine. He was later hired by Westinghouse to service their steam engines. Ford stated two important events happened. In 1875, when he was 12, he received a watch and he witnessed the operation of a Nichols and Shepard road engine. In 1890, Ford started to work on a two-cylinder engine. He said, in 1892, I completed my first motor car powered by a two-cylinder four-horsepower motor. Between 1895 and 1896, he drove that machine about 1,000 miles. Ford then started a second car in 1896, eventually building three cars in his home workshop. Henry Ford married Clara Jane Bryant on April 11, 1888, and supported himself by farming and running a sawmill. They had one child, Edsel Ford. In 1891, Ford became an engineer with the Edison Illuminating Company of Detroit. After his promotion to chief engineer in 1893, he had time and money to devote attention to his experiments on gas engines. These experiments led to the Ford 
quadricycle. He test drove it on June 4th, 1896. Also in 1896, he met Thomas Edison. Encouraged by Edison, he designed and built a second vehicle finished in 1898. He founded Detroit Automobile Company August 5th, 1899. It folded in 1901. Ford designed, built, and successfully raced a 26 horsepower automobile in October 1901 with this success. He and some investors formed the Henry Ford Company on November 30th, 1901 with Ford as chief engineer. In 1902, the investors bought, brought in Henry M. Leland as a consultant. Henry was not happy, so he left the company that bore his name. So the investors renamed the company the Cadillac Automobile Company. Henry then teamed up with former racing cyclist Tom Cooper. Ford produced an 80-plus horsepower racer. In October 1902, Ford received the backing of an old friend, Alexander Malcolmson. They formed a partnership, Ford and Malcolmson LTD, to manufacture automobiles. Ford went to work manufacturing cheaper cars. They leased a factory and contracted with a machine shop owned by John and Horace Dodge to supply over $160,000 in parts. The company name was changed to the Ford Motor Company on June 16, 1903. The investors were Ford, Malcolmson, the Dodge Brothers, and John S. Gray and James Cousins. Demonstrations were being done of a new Ford motor vehicle on the ice of Lake St. Clair. He drove one mile. He set a land rec speed record of 91.3 miles per hour on the ice. He named it the 999 in honor of the fastest train of the day. The car was taken around the country, making Ford known throughout the U.S. History was made. The Model T debuted on October 1st, 1908. It had the steering wheel on the left side of the car, which every other company soon copied. The car was very simple to drive and easy and cheap to fix. It was so cheap at $825. In 1908, sales passed 250000 in 1914. By 1916, as the price dropped to $360 for the basic touring car, sales reached 472000 by 1918, half of all cars in the U.S. were Model Ts. All cars were black. Henry Ford said you could have any color as long as it was black. Production lasted until 1927 of the Model T. Ford, in his later years, turned the company over to his son, in December of 1918. The founder of the Ford Motor Company, Henry Ford, died on April 7, 1947, of a cerebral hemorrhage. A public viewing was held for him 
at Greenfield Village in Dearborn, Michigan. He is laid to rest in the Ford Family Cemetery in Dearborn, Michigan.